Hello to one and all. So in the today's video, let us see how to perform dynamic ranking in Power BI Desktop. Say for example, you have a data set and you are having the customer data set and you are having the product data set and you are having the transaction data in your data set. And say if you were to rank the top list of customers with respect to sales by top end slicer, then this technique is for you. Similarly for product data or any category data or so on. So in order to do this, we need to establish a dynamic link between the data of a customer or else a product with respect to the transaction by deriving another table in a Power BI desktop. So in order to do that, we have three simple steps. The first step is to create another table within Power BI desktop. Let us create another table by enter data. And then now let us rename the table as ranking. Let us create two headers, one as rank and one as rank number. So this is where we can give the ranks of top n, that is top 3, top 5, top 10. It can be of your choice. No issues at all. Let me give top 20 as well. And let us give the rank number with respect to the rank numbers that we have created. That is 3, the other one is 5, then it is 10, then it is 15, and then 20. And then let us load this table. Having done with the loading of the ranking table, now let us go to the data view and then select the ranking table and then let us rank with respect to the rank numbers in order to retain the same chronological order when taken on a canvas. Now if you take rank from ranking table on a canvas and now let us convert them into slicer also let us also increase the text size of them let us make it 14 so now what we want is if we, if we want what we want is like say for example if we are clicking on top 15 we want the top 15 customers with respect to sales and if we click on top 3 then we want three customers of the three sales that is the top three sales and if you click on top five we would be interested in the top five sales of top five customers similarly for top 10 and top 20 so that's our main objective in order to do so let us create the first dynamic measure that would be a step two And, and then let us rename this particular measure as rank select. There you go, rank select. If let us use a function called as has one value, that is, if has one value of ranking table with the ranks that we have provided. then return the values of ranking table of the selected rank number if not then give us 1000 that's it now let us see what this measure actually speaks all about let us drag rank select let us keep it into card and now if you make a selection that is 3 then you get 3 if you select top 5 then we get 5 if we select top 10 then we get 10 if we select top 15 then we get 15 
if we select off 20 we get 20 and if we don't make any selections then we get 1000 so essentially we can also keep this 1000 as blank I have given as 1000 because just as we have created a similar functionality with respect to this card visual what we would be interested in that whenever we click on top 3 then we would like to return the top 3 customers with respect to the sales so if we don't make any selections then we would we would be returned with the 1000 customers having the sales let us go ahead and create that And the name of the measure would be the top sales by customers. Now, let us go ahead and define a variable called as the ranking dimension, which would be the various details of the customers similarly let us create another variable as ranking selection and let us create a rank select measure over here and then let us return the total sales with respect to the customer dimension that is a ranking dimension and then rank them accordingly with respect to all the customers associated with the total sales such that it is equivalent or greater to rank select That's it. Now let us see what exactly we got. Let us go ahead and drag top sales by customers and let us remove this total sales. Let us select top three. So we get the top three customers having the top 3 sales. If we click on top 5, we get the top 5 customers of top 5 sales. Similarly for top 10 and top 15 and top 20, so on. Bam! That's the thing. Say for example, if you don't make any selection, then you get 1000 customers having their associated sales. So we need to make a selection in order to keep the ranking. That's it. So thanks a lot for watching. Please do like and subscribe to the channel for further updates. Till then, happy analyzing and have a great day guys. Thank you very much.